Hey YouTube, it's Cindy here. Um, I would appear on camera today, but unfortunately I caught a really yucky cold from my little one and I'm super sleep deprived, but I wanted to just film this thrift haul from last weekend because I have a couple of thrift hauls now that are waiting to be filmed and I didn't want to wait until I felt better to do it. I just wanted to get it done and share some content. So I'm going to jump right in and just share with you last weekend's thrift haul. Um, we went to a few different places, um, some, you know, local places. We drove a little bit, went to um, Goodwill Outlets, and this is what we picked up. So first was a random $5 bag of toys, and in it I got um, a few of the things I'm going to share. So the first is this guy. He's a 1986 Thundercats Berserker. Um, he was the Whirlwind Warrior and he has this top spinner spin action. Um, he was a bad guy. I think he was a pirate. And I absolutely love his weird head and how he moves um, and his mace. And he has this clip on the back um, that allows you to spin him so he needs a good cleaning so he's a little bit sticky right now not sticky but the inside is a little bit difficult to keep on track so what you do is you just kind of it'll slip a couple times you see you just kind of crank this and when it slips like that it's just it's missing the catch to spin him but um, that's very easy to fix I won't keep uh, trying because there we go so it's not super loud um, in the video, but yeah, he's really cool and I look forward to getting him cleaned up and displayed. Next, I found um, a Toxic Crusaders character. Um, he's a really cool and very colorful action figure. I absolutely love how bright and loud he is. I love these glasses and his gold boot and arm. I love this wild pink jacket and how he's like grotesque, but also kind of pretty. And so he's a really nice figure. He's just small. He's one of the kind of more interesting, cool action figures that has more personality from sort of the line of like Toxic Avengers or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's a few of the villains in both of those series that I really like. And so he is one of them. Next, I have this guy. Um, he is a 1998 Marvel Lizard um, from Spider-Man. And um, he also came in blue. And he's really cool. His mouth opens and closes. And he, I've already set him up ahead of time because I will tell you, I do not collect Transformers because I'm honestly not qualified. I never can figure out how to put them together. And I always end up doing this weird tetris jenga kind of thing they turn into like a rubik's cube that can never be solved so i set him up ahead of time and i think i've got this figured out so he's very tricky but i think the concept is he looks like he could just be this innocent looking crocodile alligator what have you just hanging out and then you bother him and he says blah and he jumps up and he's got this guy and he can hang out with this guy they can both open their mouths and they can both scream at you and uh yeah it's pretty cool so i really like him he's really interesting i've never even seen him before but he was also part of the five dollar bag that i was talking about that this guy came in so these guys together um, and the next thing I'm going to show you also came in the same bag. Um, so this is also from Thundercats, Lion-O and Snarf. And they're smaller um, plastic figures. It looks like this guy maybe was some kind of a pencil topper. And I can't see the year 1985, um, I think. Yeah, looks like 1985 Telefix. So it's hard to read this flesh colored plastic but I thought they were really cool nice little figures they're in somewhat used condition but they're not too bad and um they're really cool they were also by LJN Toys yeah 1985 so they're cool there's all these guys over here 
So while we're on the topic of villains, um, this villain is from Rainbow Bright. This is Murky Dismal. He's a really nice size for a little plushy figure, and he's my favorite kind of um, figure in that he has the vinyl face and the soft body. So he needs a bit of a spa day. He's a little bit dirty here and there, but he will clean up really well. And uh, he's in great condition. So he's cute, and I could add him to my Rainbow Bright collection. Oh, hold on one minute. I got to get the last guy. He took a dive from my table. So this is the last action figure for today. This is Bad Seed. Um, he's a DC Comics figure and he's from 1985. And what I like about him, hopefully you can see, is his eyes glow red. There's like this channel at the top of his head that the light can shine into from above. And it makes his eyes glow this very scary red color and he's cool he's in good condition he's a very simple figure um but i really like him now i'll move on to the toys that were maybe targeted at girls in the 80s but as you know anybody can play with any toy so this is my little pony and she's a g1 flower or flower princess um She's a unicorn. She was part of a series of ponies that had these nice jewel um, metallic looking cutie marks. And so she's in great condition. She needs a bit of a spa day and she needs her hair to be redone. It's got this pretty tinsel in it, but she's in very good condition. And I got another one of these ponies. Um, so also a G1 pony. 1987. Um, this is Princess Tiffany. She was known as Princess Pearl in the UK where she was also released and she's got a teardrop cutie mark and cute wings. She's also in great condition, just needs a cleaning and um, she'll go on the pony shelf. In box she came with this guy. This is Bush Willie, her friend. He would have had a staff and she in box would have had this purple kind of triangular hat. Um, it was like a big party hat or a princess hat. And then the last pony I have is a G1 pony. This is North Star. She's a pink soft pony, so her, her body is flocked. She was also, um, I believe she was also, yeah, she was released in Europe as well, but as a non-soft pony, so just the rubber body. And she has a compass as her cutie mark. She's in really good condition. Um, the only thing I guess I need to clean up is just around her feet. There's a little bit of brown color that I need to clean up, but otherwise she's in great condition. And then the next toy that I got is this big 16 inch rabbit. Hopefully he fits entirely in frame. So this is, um, a 1991 Alice in Wonderland white rabbit. So he's actually from Target stores. And so I was, it was really interesting to find him in Canada because we didn't have Target stores in the 90s. In fact, we only had Target stores for, I believe, two years from, I think, 2015 to 2017. They had a very sad failed attempt at going to market in Canada. They had a lot of management oversight problems and inventory control issues that they couldn't stay on top of. So sadly, their business failed in Canada. And I'm really, really upset about it because they probably won't come back with such a large business fail. And it's such a great store. And I'm so jealous that we don't have Target here anymore. Um, but Anyhow, I'll stop grieving my sweet target and talk about this rabbit. So he has these um, really nice sort of like bars inside of his ears that keep them in this cute sort of forward position on his on his head. He's very soft and squishy and I absolutely love his face. I think he has the cutest face. I love his glasses and just the eye placement. I think they gave him a very cute face. Um, he's a very quality toy in that his his clothing is really lovely. He has a pocket on his jacket for his pocket watch. 
this cute little bow tie and the fabric is really sweet it's like this powdery aqua with little white flowers and the detailing on his cufflings are cute he's got little buttons and there's lace on the cuffs on the back he has these little coattails that go around his tail and he's in amazing condition he's like mint and so i'm very happy to have found this little guy he's very cute Then the next toy I found is a more modern toy, which I don't normally collect, um, but I'm a knitter and I love wool and I love sheep. So I thought this is a very cute toy. This is a Hasbro toy for, for real friends. Um, this is part of their Lovables collection and this is Cotton Ball Lamb. The thing I think I love about her, other than she's very soft and her eyes are adorable, is she makes this weird robotic bleeding sound. Yeah, she's very funny. And the last thing I have to show you... Oh, she's still bleeding. <laughs> the last thing I have to show you today is this doll, which was part of a random $2.99 bag that I found, and it's from Strawberry Shortcake. Her name is Apricot. She's in great condition. A little bit of dirt here that I need to clean up and just give her an overall bit of a cleanup, but her clothes are in good condition. Um, when she was in box, she would have also come with a little white rabbit named Hopsalot. Um, but yeah, I was happy to find her. She's so cute. I have a few of these other strawberry shortcake toys, so she'll go nicely with that collection. So that's all I have today to show you, but there will be more videos coming soon, um, thrift hauls and other videos, and we'll be sort of upping the production value of our videos. Right now we're just sort of getting our feet wet and getting things planned, but I didn't want to stop and not share this stuff before I clean it and put it all away or list it for sale. So anyhow, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Um, if you'd like to keep following us, please follow Specularia on YouTube click the like button or click the bell for notifications on when we make more videos. So have a good night.